congratulations on the film. Which, for what I understand, is uh, sort of poising us for a, a landmark moment in rights for animals. So tell us about the project, if you would. Well, the project follows an animal rights lawyer named Stephen Wise, who filed the first cases ever to argue that an animal um, has the capacity to have a legal right, and um, he's arguing for personhood for some chimpanzees in New York State. So tell me a little bit, you know, if this, if this, we do move forward into a place of personhood and, and increased rights, what will that look like for us as a society? And I'm sure it will affect corporations, tourism, everything. You know, a chimpanzee, unlike your dog, lives for 60 or 70 years. Oh. So if you have a chimpanzee and you want to do tests that aren't going to hurt him, I mean, you're not going to injure him or torture him, you still have to keep him in prison, enslaved for the, for the whole of his life. Right. And uh, Steve's feeling is that, that that isn't warranted. So he'd like a, and the only way you're going to get protection for, for, for any beast, really, is to make it a legal problem. Right. Otherwise, it's just an ordinance, and you can buy a dog and shoot it, because right. you own it. And that shouldn't be the case with, with animals that have a, a high degree of, uh, of kind of, you know, I don't know, personhood. Yeah. I have a high degree of intelligence and uh, live in social communities uh, in the wild and, you know, can communicate with each other and have a kind of theory of mind. So it's important that um, they be able to live their lives with some sort of freedom to um, protect their autonomy. Um, the type of rights that Steve's arguing for are very minimal. I mean, they're the right of bodily liberty, so they can't be killed, basically. Are there any institutions or, or people pushing back against well, measures like people this? people that, uh, like the state of Louisiana, that own a large number of chimpanzees, which they rent out to people who want to do tests. Like right. there was a, that one of the tests that, w that uh, he took into court was uh, in New York State, where they were trying to figure out how people learn to walk. And uh, this important uh, uh, test <laughs> was conducted on chimpanzees, where they, f over two or three years, had them walking on different cities and photograph whatever it is. The chimpanzees, of course, after they walked tests every day, they got fed a banana, and they were put back in their, in their uh, cages. And, uh, that was, in a sense, what he was going to try to rectify. Right. Well, I, I wish you all the best of luck with the documentary. Congratulations, and thank you so much for coming by. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.